AutoCAD has something called wipeouts. And the idea behind a wipeout is that you can actually blank out a part of your drawing. It's almost like using whiteout, where you can kind of white out an area of your drawing, actually draw on top of that, but at any point in time, basically pull that wipeout away and see what's underneath there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come into my layer box here, and I'm going to add um, a new layer just so we can put our wipeouts just on this layer um, in particular. So in case I want to come back and, and restore it, um, or just see those um, particular objects, I can do that there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my draw pull down and in my draw pull down, sorry, what I can see is there's an option for wipe out. Now what I'm going to do is come in here and it's almost like drawing a polyline. I'm going to say well I want that object to go from here to there, notice the, the preview. I'm going to come up here, go to there, go there, let's go there, I'm going to right click say enter, and notice how it's put that wipeout in there and it's actually blocking the objects behind it. Now this is actually dynamic. So if I take this wipeout and I come over here and I do something like this, notice how it's now updated or in real time basically covering those objects. So let's just hit undo to that. Now if I was to come in here and add a new object, so let's say a circle, what I can do is come in here and draw a circle and notice that circle is now sitting on top of that wipeout. Again, the idea is um, that you've got this wipeout and now this object's on top. So again, I could delete that circle and obviously it's, it's going to be gone. Now, if I was to come over here and let's just draw another wipeout just to see this. And I was to come in here and do a plot preview. So let's just go to the uh, my PDF plotter here, we'll do display and we'll click preview. Notice that I can see the border on that. So it's not really what I want. I don't really want to see the border on that particular object. So if I start typing wipeout here, notice there's actually an option for wipeout frame. And I can see that there's a value for wipeout frame that I can actually set this to 2. Okay, so I've set it to 2. And let's go through there and let's try plotting this again. So again, I'll go to my uh, PDF plotter. We'll click preview. And now notice that that's not visible. So it's really just a preference here. There's a system variable called wipeout frame that you can actually control. And it's 0, 1, or 2. 0 will actually turn that off. So if I come in here and say wipeout frame and I say 0, notice that the wipeout frame is gone. So I can actually still pick it. I can still manipulate it. I just can't see it on the screen. If I do a wipeout frame of 1, what that means is I will see it and it will plot. Now there might be situations where you need to see it as, as, a, as a boundary, as a border. The third option is number 2, which means that you can see it but it won't plot. 